What's up guys? Justin here with TheSketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in today's video we're going to check out a brand new extension from Curic that allows you to use faces in SketchUp in order to cut through more complex objects. This extension was voted on by my supporters on Patreon, so big thank you to my supporters on Patreon. If you want to support the show and vote on the extension that I cover every week, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so you can download Curic Face Knife from Curic's Gumroad page, which I will link to in the notes down below. And note that you have the option here to name a fair price. You can put zero if you want to download it for free, or you can put a value in here. I think it defaults to five plus right here. So there is a value in here if you do want to pay him a little bit for his work. I would recommend that you really do that. Um, this is an excellent extension and Curic's doing a lot of great work. So make sure that you do that on this page, but you can download that from here. And then you're going to want to make sure that you download and install that inside to SketchUp. Or when you install and enable that, you're going to get a little button that looks like this called Trim Objects by Face. And what that does is that allows you to use a face, so like this face right here, in order to trim a series of objects. And so this can be a massive time saver. And so the way that this works is you select the object that you want to trim, you click on the button for Trim Objects by Face, and then you just select the face that you want to use in order to trim these. Notice how he makes it so you can see the face through the object if you mouse over it over an object. But if I click on this face, it's going to give you a little preview box right here. And just to let you know what it's going to trim out. So you can see how it's basically going to trim everything outside of this box right here. And then you can just hit the enter key. And so what this does is this actually uses the footprint of that face in order to trim this, which is fantastic. So this is something where before you kind of had to mess around with like solid tools. If you wanted to use another shape to cut an object, I have no idea how he figured out to do this. But what it's doing is it's basically trimming out all the extra material um, so that you're only having something that's going to fit on that face. So then we can just take this and we can just place it on the face just like this. So there's a ton of different applications with this. We may, uh, make another video later just kind of playing around with this but check out how if you have like an irregular face like this one and you want to put like this herringbone paver pattern on there well all you have to do is just select the group that these are in notice that you do want everything that you're going to cut to be in a group but all you have to do is just click on this and then select the face that you want to trim it with notice how it looks exactly like it does on his gumroad page right here so it just shows you um, where it's going to cut through and then when you hit the enter key, it's just going to trim this. And so notice how with more complex things like this one, this one does take a while to do. So it is going to sit in there and spin. I think when I tested this, it, span, it spun for like a minute or something like that. So do be aware of that. But just the fact that it can come through and cut something so complex is amazing. All right, so if we look at this, Notice that it came through here and it trimmed all of these pieces based on the edges of your object. So there are some more complex things we could talk about. For example, like the number of uh, the number of edges in this curve would make a smoother curve along here, but it would also have to come in here and do more cuts. But notice how clean this is along the edges. So you're not missing a whole bunch of, uh, you don't have a whole bunch of holes in your mesh or anything like that. And so this has a lot of other fun applications. Like for example, let's say that you wanted to create a metal roof with this profile that I downloaded from the 3D warehouse. So what you can do is you can just copy these roofs roof panels like this, but then you could just select your object, um, click on trim objects by face, and then if you mouse over the face and click, what it's going to do is it's going to go through and it's going to cut across those metal panels, just like this. Well then, you could just take those metal panels, just drop them on the face, and it fits perfectly to that face. So obviously this could be a huge time saver moving forward. All right, so I am super excited about this extension. It's a huge time saver. Go check it out on Curic's Gumroad page. If you have any money at all to support him, please do that so he can keep creating great extensions like this. Um, I will link to it on this page as well. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.